up to now we've been working on parts. In this next step, we're going to put some of those parts together and they'll become a boat. I'm gluing the pieces in place with medium viscosity CA. Notice I concentrate on just one joint at a time. As the parts settle into their place, they self-align and the boat takes on the shape that it was designed to have. Now we can see the size and the shape of the boat, but there's more work to be done.
This boat uses two sail winch servos. One of the servos sheets in the mainsail, and the other one sheets in the overlapping headsails. The hull is fairly complete now, so let's have a look at the deck. I drew planking lines on the deck with a ballpoint pen, and I stained the deck a darker color. I've made other videos about building hatch covers and removable cabin tops, so I'm not going to go into those now. But there are other details that are unique to this gaff cutter. Let's take a look at those. We're going to secure our halyards to the fife rails. And the Samson post takes the thrust of the bowsprit. It needs to be really strong. Now with the deck removed from the hull, you can have a look at those gussets that give strength to the Samson posts and the fife rail. A pair of channels under the side deck will carry this box that was made to hold the radio receiver. Another pair of channels under the deck just in front of the cabin will carry this box which holds four AA batteries to power the radio and servos. Now it's time to paint inside the hull and the underside of the deck. With the painting done, I've installed the sail winch servos and rigged the winch lines. Finally, you can glue the deck down, tack it in place, and add an epoxy fillet all the way around the perimeter. All the mechanical parts inside can be accessed through the hatch openings. Thanks for watching. Check out our website to learn more about Barrowspace Boats. Stay safe everybody. Happy boat building out there. <laughs>